Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. In this session, we are going to discuss how we can execute our manual tests in Tosca Commander. What we can also do is we can execute our automated execution list as a manual test case. Now consider this particular scenario. So in this scenario, when we executed this, it failed from a certain step. But we don't have time currently to fix the remaining steps in this automated test case. And we need to uh, provide the results to the testing team so that uh, it can make a decision on whether they want to go ahead with the release or not. In such type of scenario where you don't have time and you still want to provide the results to the management, then then what you can do is you can quickly execute this as a manual test case and just verify whether the application is working correctly or not. So how you can do that? Now we can execute a, a manual test okay, from an execution list by right clicking and then there will be an option to run as manual test case. You can also use the shortcut Control Shift and M. Now this will be also available for the folder level, the execution list level, or at uh, execution entry level. Okay, so you can do it from anywhere. Now when you click on this, it displays a checklist window. Okay, and there you can see all the different steps, all the different values which have been used, all the action modes, and all the previous results. So let's see what are the options available here. Okay, we can set any particular test step to pass or fail right from here. As you can see, there is a pass option and there is a fail option. So as you go through each of the step along with the application, you are verifying it manually and you are setting the results of each test step. Also, what you can do, you can insert a particular comment. You can insert an attachment or you can even take a screenshot and attach it to the particular test step. Okay, so let's continue with the first step. So the first step, it tells you to go to this particular uh, demo webshop.tricentis.com, right? So let's go to this particular website and you can see the website is opening. So I'm going to uh, click on this pass option and this will pass the result. Now you can always go ahead and clear the result whenever you want okay so once you have set the result you can always clear the result back and you will see that um, the result of this particular folder has been set to one and the overall there are 64 test steps out of this one has passed okay and then um, you have to click on register okay so let's go back here and I'm going to click on register. So it is showing me the register page and then I'm going to pass this particular test step. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to take a screenshot. So let's take a screenshot here so that we can attach it, okay, into our particular uh, results. So you can see you can annotate with arrow line um, there are lots of different options there is text box as well or you can just save and close okay so this way you can go through each and every step and then you can mark it pass or failed and this way you can execute any particular test case now this could also be converted into a live document because you can attach screenshots you can annotate them uh, you can add attachments or even you can enter a comment okay so here uh, i can say uh, this step has passed now let's look at some of the other options which are available with this particular checklist you can always uh, go ahead and collapse this checklist when you are uh, trying to verify your test case manually okay so what it will do it will uh, make it a collapsed window so that you can look at your application and you can perform the steps here okay to expand it back you can click on this expand option also 
there is a mini size uh, of this particular window. So if I click on this, you will see it will only display the current test step which you are currently executing. And then uh, the other details could be hidden so that you have got a minimized window, okay? Now going back, uh, you can click on full size and this window will be again displayed back, right? Now looking at some of the other options which are available, on the top menu bar, you can see uh, if we have finished our manual test steps execution and we think that we can continue uh, with the remaining steps as an automated test execution, then what we can do, we can uh, set all the remaining test steps to enable automated, okay? So when you click on this option, enable automation, all the remaining test steps will become automated. And from here on, you can run it as an automated test case, okay? Or you can change it back again to manual test case. You can also inject data value into uh, your uh, system under test. So by clicking on this inject data value, it will send the value of the currently selected test step or test step value to the system under test. Also, the same set passed and set failed uh, options are available on the top menu. So either you can do it at the test step level from the result column or you can also do it right from here. Okay. So I can click on pass and it is going to set the results to passed. Or if I want to fail the next step, then I can also do that. Okay. Now there is also an option to pause the execution. Uh, if you have running the automated test and you want to pause the execution, then you can, this option will be enabled and you can click on that to pause the execution. Now, finally, once you are completed with your manual test case execution, you can go ahead and finish your test case execution. And now you will see uh, additional execution log has been added uh, for our manual test execution and it will show you all the uh, steps which have been passed and which have been failed during your manual test execution. Also, uh, you can see that uh, the screenshot which we added, it is already added here, okay? Along uh, with the comment that this step has passed, this is what we added during our manual execution. So all of this you can do uh, both for your manual tests as well as for your automated tests. You can execute all your test steps manually. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.